Good morning, good afternoon. Oh my Christ! And a good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. You are here with Morris. And at the end of the last part, Attack of the Eagles. Well, no more, sir. Wow, he's just camping out on top of that hill. Uh, but yes, we finally, finally moved on to the, uh, the levels in uh, Tibet rather than underwater, which is um, great news, grand news, grandioso news. Where am I going? I don't really know these levels so well. Uh, I've only played through them the one time, uh, but that is, that is a plus. That is a plus. I have played through them before. So hopefully, as we go through, things will, uh, they'll become very clear. Um, I'm not going to go for the secrets in these levels, again, just because I've kind of, uh, you know, I've already been through it. Sorry, I'm checking Steam, very unprofessional. Um, I've already been through <laughs> through them, um, and I don't really want to, I don't know, I don't really want to spend the time looking for the, for the goddamn secrets again. Those are going to fall on me. So let's see how that goes. Bollocks. See, now last time that went really, really well. Um... <laughs> I was stood right in the... See, this is one of the annoying things, is that I've already recorded this, and this level was awesome. Um, but I've... Uh, I jumped across, stood in the middle, and literally every single one missed me, and I don't know how. I must have just been stood in the perfect position to be to not be hit by any of them. Mmm. Still got a cool bit of OJ left. Um, but I wonder if I can... Nope! That one just killed me. That one just killed me right off. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to take it slow. Sometimes you gotta take it slow, ladies and gentlemen. You know you can't rush into things. Um, so we gotta, we, and that's what we gotta do right here. I think if I just, uh, I think if I just tease him a little bit, just tease him a little bit, and then just take a step back, I think that'll be okay. Don't fall in, Laura. That's stupid. Fucking why? Okay, okay. I'm not. I've survived it once, so I'm not gonna stand for taking any damage here. I'm sorry. We're just going to have to... This is this whole episode now. We're just going to have to sit here and watch me do this. <laughs> oh, it was so easy the first time. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is really good. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So maybe we don't walk to the end. Maybe we just take a d jump here. There we go. That's good. Get up on the wall. Tease him just a little bit. Just there you go. Ooh, that just missed me. That just missed me. If my boobs were any bigger than they are right now, that could have been fatal. That could have been real fatal. Okay. So where are we going is the question that's on the edge of everybody's lips. The everybody's tongue, rather. Well, both. But I think, aha, yes, there's a hidden. Well, it's not really hidden, but it's kind of blending in with the rest of the textures here. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's more spikes to fall down. But a hidden little uh, little alcove here. I'm terrified of these spikes now. Where does that go? Do I want to go down there or do I want to go up here? Friggin' phone, stop sending me notifications. Oh, well, that answers that question. Ooh, hello. So there is a secret on the other side of that grate, which I could clearly put my hand through. My tiny baby girl hand through that and get that for myself, but apparently Laura's not that intelligent. And is, is not on the cards today. Is there anything on this wall? No, there isn't. Just a random wall. Got it! Oh god. Oh, there's always that terrifying feeling of, am I just gonna slide to my own death here? Because that seems like maybe something that might happen. Okay, so hopefully we can dodge all of these. Yes, yes, yes. That'll work nicely. Don't want to spend too long in that water. If you have bad memories of the previous levels. Is there anything that way? No, there is not. See, again, this is some good progress. This is progress that I was not making the first time I did this. So I think if we just go all the way around here and jump across... Then we should be gravy, but I am going to save it, just in case. And yeah, this is definitely the snowmobile level. Which means we're going to have a lot of fun here, guys. Oh boy, is it super good to control. Really feels great. Feels like, yes, this is what the PS1 can do. And you see that medkit there, so we can obviously land on that. That's a nice little bit of uh, telling us where to go without telling us where to go, you know? So simple. So simple when you put it like that. 
So where the hell do I go now? Is the question. <laughs> uh, I think can I can I get onto here? Yes, I can. There's a lot of these birds threatening to claw my face off, which I don't really appreciate. It's not what I need in life right now, you know. Son of a gun. You're getting too close there, birdie. Stop phasing in and out of reality, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. I fell. Oh, God. Nope. 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 I'm sorry. We can't stand for that kind of thing. In this day and age, definitely not. That's right. You load that game. Oh, boy. Okay. Here we go. Laura looks so happy in that picture. Whereas the reality is she should be fearing for her life every second of every day. I don't know how she gets through it. She's one tough cookie. So if they were going to make a new Tomb Raider movie, and they probably will. Wait, aren't they making a new Tomb Raider movie? Didn't we already talk about this? God, I don't even remember. God, we're talking like months ago. I'm sorry, guys. I really, um, this is one of the things about doing this kind of stuff, is you always, always, always fear that you're going to repeat yourself. And especially when you take breaks like I do, there's a, there's a good chance that you are going to repeat yourself. <laughs> That's right, you fall to your death. It's the least you deserve. Crap. How much? What is that vest you're wearing? What quality of coat is that to stop so many bullets? See, this is what I was talking about, like being not as stingy with the ammo as I have been doing, even though I was then, but I think this is the time when you've got to kind of uh -huh. step a little, step it up a little bit, because these guys have got ammo, these guys aren't afraid to use it, so why am I afraid to use it? I'm just so terrified I'm going to run out. And the fact is, i got a fucking mini arsenal in here, I'm not going to run out. A thousand of that, a thousand of that. Ten grenades, and no grenade launcher for some reason. And a harpoon gun, of course. Yeah, we're not doing so bad. Might switch it up to the Uzis next time we get in a combat situation, as they say, as the French would say. Okay, so can we get in here yet? Nope. Needs a key. And I think that's the end game, that gate right there. So, let's hop on, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the first time I did this, honestly did not think we'd be able to get on. But boy, can we. Now, this section is amazing. It's got some kick-ass music in it as well. And you kill guys in one hit when you run them over. Just so you know, I'm going to die a lot on this. I'm sure you already guessed that. But yeah, this section is sweet. This is a really interesting change of pace for this game. Because the majority, excuse me, because the majority of it is very slow. It's very methodical. It's very, I'm going to plan the next five jumps. I'm going to go there, then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to do that, blah, blah, blah. But this is like, just fucking go! And don't even think about it, you know? And it's janky as all fucking hell, by the way. Like... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, that's not too far in, so I guess I'll give it another shot. But yeah, this is... Oh, Christ. Okay. There's, you, and you could just die on this thing, by the way. Like, if you hit walls too quickly, you'll take damage. If you fall too far, you'll blow up. And it is, and this section, you might not think that there's that many hazards, but every corner and every <laughs> every jump, oh god, every jump is a potential hazard here. You gotta take everything at just the right angle for it to work. Crap! So I feel like that, that kind of, I'm glad that happened because that exemplifies my point that I was trying to make. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that's why I saved there. So I've already done this, but it's probably going to take me the same amount of time to get through it the second time around. Ugh. Oh. Like, I've died there before on that jump. I've died on every jump that you could possibly do on this. 
downside is, I don't know if we hear the music again. I think it's just a case of, ah, you know what, you, you've heard this before, you know what's going on. Oh boy, he took that with a bit of a jump, a bit of an angle, rather. Come on, there you go, that's how we doing it. Alright, so I think... Wait, do I even need to do this yet? Oh, I seem to remember there being something i got to get out of the way. In fact, there definitely is. You know what? I'm going to get off this thing. How do I, uh... How do I... There you go, square. Okay. <laughs> How do I leave? Yes, I think there's a... We have to move a, a, a cube up here first. So there's really no point to the last sort of two or three minutes, really. Oh, crap. Because we gotta go up here. God, it's a real good job I know this stuff now. I think there's enemies. Oh god, not just any enemies. Snow leopards. Oh, thank Christ. Do you drop bullets? Probably not. But yeah, I think... I don't know, where could I even move this? I don't remember. I think I just gotta pull this out of the way, move it to the right, and then just dump the other one anywhere, I don't know. But yeah, I spent a long time... You're not climbing it, Laura. I spent a long time trying to figure this out. But you know what, in, in all the areas that we've been trapped in in this game, I much prefer to be in this kind of setting than fucking underwater again. Oh god, I can't even... Can I fit through that? I can probably fit through that gap. I can't be fucked moving it. Ugh. I guess I will. Sorry, Mr. Snow Leopard. Gonna have to drag this through your corpse. I hope you don't mind. God, will he even fit in there? Probably not. Maybe? Maybe? Let's try it. Yes, it will. That'll do. All snug. That's where you want to be. Alright. Now we can get back to the action. Don't kill myself! Oh, thank God. Ugh. Oh. I gotta, sorry, I just gotta shout that every now and again, just to remind myself not to kill Laura. <laughs> Whoa! Where did I get that height from? And that speed. Alright, let's save it again, now that we've done that. No, don't exit to the... Ooh, there's no are you sure. There's no are you sure you want to do that. You just go. Fuck my life. And everything it stands for. Oh, God. That's really bad. That's really bad. That's a sign of the times right there, ladies and gentlemen. There's no are you sure. There's no are you sure you want to quit. You just fucking quit. You just go. You don't want to play the game? Well, the game doesn't want to be played. So you just leave. Shit. Alright, well, I'm not cutting anything out. We're going to do this again. <laughs> And you're going to like it, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to like it. Oh, I'm sorry. I am terribly, terribly sorry. You know what? I'm going to get my other guns out for this. Just hopefully save myself a few seconds, if nothing else. There we go. Better safe than dead by Snow Leopard, I think. I think that's the populist phrase. Oh, all right. It's fine. It's okay. It could have been worse. We didn't really do that much. That's crazy, though. This world is tearing itself apart at the seams. Don't, I did the same thing again. Oh. Come on, guys. We've all done that, right? That's not just me. We've all been in that position. Flicking through the menu just a little bit quick. You think you know what you're doing. Bang. You're at the menu. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think if I've ever actually done that in the past. Even when I was a small baby child, I don't think I was that stupid. 
you get impatient with this. This kind of slows it down. This is where the pace gets weird. Because you would think snowmobile section is just going to carry on and on and on and then eventually you get off and that's it. But to slow it down like this, I'm not so sure. Anyway, no matter. That's all done now. That should be an adequate enough gap to get through, I think. Don't lose any health this time. Back on the old trusty snowmobile. We'll call a Betsy. And we'll get going. And this time I'm going to save. In the appropriate save slot. Which is the only save slot. What time are we on? 15 minutes? God, it feels like 15 hours. Jesus. How am I getting this height? This angle? What fuel is in this snowmobile? It just goes. It just takes off. Alright, here we go. Here we go. You've seen me do this a million times, but there you go. That'll do. That'll do. Nice. That was a smooth one. That was... What is happening? That was a real smooth one there. Oh, God. Okay. Now I'm going to... I love how you can just turn 360 on the spot. Alright, we're going to save again. Because this is the most important of these jumps. And we are going to bomb it to the end. There you go. Is this the way? Oh, just made it. That'll do. Not sure why I took the corner like that, but there you go. Still going. Still going strong. Definitely fully in control of this. If you were thinking I wasn't, boy, are you mistaken. Boy, will you be in for a treat. That's locked. That's the wrong way. That's fine, though. I know exactly where I'm going. This is all going to plan. That's fine. Just, uh, you know, just random outbursts of song. That's fine. That's fine! That's fine in this world. Okay, get off the snowmobile, Laura, before I have a heart attack. <laughs> before, <laughs> before I have to call an ambulance. Oh. You know what? Save. <laughs> This is one of those levels. I mean, I know every level is a level where you got to save a lot, but this really is one of those levels. All right, come on. Here we go. Come on, Laura, get up there. You've done this a million times. Why do you take so long every time? Where? Where the balls is this? Oh, there's a switch there. Look at that. That is part of the wall. Who made that? That's crazy. I love how that's just there. That's dedicated switch room for that door. Laura, do you want to play the game? Thank you. God, that sounds great, doesn't it? Doesn't sound like a real snowmobile. Oh, jeez. Okay, so there's a dude over there now, I think. So I'm just going to save it again. I don't want to get... I don't want to get popped while I'm trying to make these jumps. All right, all nada, let's go. Holy. Oh, that's one. Another one bites the dust, ladies and gentlemen. And if we can just clip this guy. There we go. You don't even need to hit them at it with any kind of pace or anything. But I guess that makes sense. If you got run over by this thing, you just... Yeah, you wouldn't be getting back up. Wow, I'm surprised I made that. Whoa! Okay. Alright, I know there's some stuff to do around here. I know there is. I'm just kind of... I want to go through the motions as I did before because I don't want to keep stopping and starting. I just want to kind of get myself there naturally, if that makes sense. Okay, you know what? I'll take that hit. That's fine. I think there's another dude or two in here. Maybe, maybe there is, maybe there is not. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I remember this area. A little bit. So we need a key for that, which we haven't got. So that is the next order of business. I think the key is in the pit where all those balls just fell. Well, balls to you, I say. I'm getting that key. Is 
So I think there's just a room overlooking the uh, the ball pit, so to speak. And I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you can't actually do anything from here. I think this is just to show you that there's a gap down there. Because I think I've tried to like jump from here and you just it's just too far. It's too far and you can't even hang on to anything, you just don't reach. I think. <laughs> I wish I could say this with any kind of confidence, but I really can't. But yeah, we're just gonna run back in there and see what we can see. Because there's a secret, that, that huge uh, jump that we did, there is a ladder that you probably noticed as we were coming in, just on the left-hand side, and there is a secret in there. Um, so, you know, it's possible that uh, you think, oh, I'll go back and, and get that, but it doesn't actually lead to anything, so. Pretty sure this is progression right here. Which is all I'm interested in. I swear to God, if these videos corrupt, oh, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do with myself. So yeah, we just gotta, because there's no real way to jump onto it, we gotta jump, slide, and hang. There we go. And here is the key. Uh -huh. And I don't know what this is, but I think it might lead into that canyon. Maybe. And then we can climb back up. Oh, really? See what I mean? Better guns, better results. It's true in life. <laughs> and it's true in the video game world. Wow, okay. Thank you for that. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, would you get me out of this pit, Lara, please? Stop, stop jumping like a crazy woman. There we go. So yeah, I think this leads into this pit. And I think there's three leopards that come out of nowhere when you try and... Uh, when you go down there. Well, I think that's the wrong side. I think if we climb up here, we should be good. Well, we'll soon fucking find out. That's for sure. Like I say, I'm not bothered about the secrets at the moment. Although they probably give some very tasty rewards right about now. So yeah, that's where we came in. And this is where we gotta go. And I think you can make it across here. Fucking hope so, otherwise I've just kind of boned myself. Oh god, I hung on and I fucking let go for some reason. Ugh, I don't know why. I, I had no confidence in myself, ladies and gentlemen. What is that about? There's one thing you gotta have with Tomb Raider, it's confidence. Christ. Ah. <sighs> it's okay, Lara's looking happy again. That's fine. Oh, jeez. Alright. That's fine, that's not that far. Oh, crap, I didn't hang on again. Okay, okay. Losing my cool just a little bit. But don't worry. Don't worry, if there's one thing that you can get back, it's your cool, okay? Remember that. That's a life lesson right there. Okay. You know what, the angle was good. Didn't need to take that step. What? Why? Why did that happen? What was wrong with what I just did? I just hung on. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I shouldn't swear this much. That kind of shit bothers me. Even though it was blatantly my fault, but still. Uh -huh. Not finding a lot of health around this level. Kind of worrying. Although I did run over a load of dudes and I, like, didn't actually stop to see if they dropped anything. But at least I didn't lose anything to that guy. Or them. <laughs> That's right, I remember. Just pull this switch, which is part of the wall. Who knows who made that? Not me. Uh, 
And then we can get back to climbing the- oh god, get back to climbing this. Guess I'll save before I take that jump again. Look at the textures just freak out as you move up and down them. Like, they just stretch. I don't know why that is. <laughs> they just stretch and morph into other things. Okay, so now we have that key. Which does one of the weirdest things... Oh no, it's not that key, is it? But something really quite strange happens. Uh, very, very soon in this level. I remember not understanding it all too well the first time I saw it. I know why I let go, is because I thought I'd made it and didn't need to hang on. Because it's all white! Everything's white! As white as a sheet. God, my stomach. I hope the mic did not pick up my stomach growling at me in frustration and not feeding myself. I really need lunch. I didn't have breakfast this morning, and now it's past lunchtime. But all I want to do is play Tomb Raider. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's fine. That's not that ludicrous. But it's the next part. You'll notice I'm driving across ice right now. Uh, just, just keep that in mind. Alright, let's go. You must know that curse, guys. You know, when you play... When all you want to do is play games, and the kitchen is so far away, and you don't want to go. You don't want to go and make food. That's going to take some effort. That's going to take some time. And you're in the zone, so you don't want to leave. But it's like, how long am I going to be in the zone if I'm starving to death? That's the question. So, let's try and do this without dying. Stunning! How am I doing this? What the hell is happening? Oh, I understand. Oh, it's because the friggin' the boulders break the ice. I don't know why I didn't put that together the last time. Fuck me. I was like, what? The ice is melted? <laughs> Moron. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this key, and then I'm going to get ambushed. So I'm just going to save it here. But this is the key to the uh, to the gate, which is right next to the shack where we found the snowmobile. So you can see how, you know, Dark Souls maybe did take a bit of inspiration as it's all coming together. There are no shortcuts, but still. So that guy just comes out of fucking nowhere to ruin your day. Like, he just spawns in and then starts snowmobiling all up the walls and shit. I don't know how he's quite... I, don't, I had no idea how he just pulled off what he did. Look at where he is! He's not balanced on anything! He is... Ba he's, that is nothing. There's not even a part of him which is touching a surface. That's amazing. I don't know whether he's dead or whether he's just flying in a single space and space-time continuum forever. I don't know. Suspended animation, quite literally there. That's incredible. He must have been in charge or something with those kind of powers. Anyway, I think there's a few other dudes who chase you with snowmobiles, but it's not really feasible to get off and fight them. So we're just gonna fly back as quick as we can. Come on, phone, don't turn off now. All right, let's go. So yeah, it's pretty much just back the way we came. Not that way, stupid! Oh, you didn't make it, Laura. You did your best to try and salvage that situation, but you didn't make it. <laughs> oh boy. It's, trust me, it's, I know it's partly me, but the controls on this thing are not fantastic. Anybody out there who's played this, please back me up, because they are genuinely not fantastic. I don't think I need to use the boost as much. I think it's just... Make me what? Why would she do that? Why would she just fly up in the air like that? What? <laughs> I didn't even press a button and she just levitated. Ugh, maybe I do need to use the boost then to get across there. Well, I did it the first time and there was more hazards. With the boulders and everything. Ugh, okay, what are we on? 30 minutes? I'm gonna give this one more go. And I'm gonna save it and 
grab some lunch, I think. Come on, Laura. This is the time. This is the time for the business. Yeah, we did it. We did it. That would still really hurt, but we did it. All right. I'm going to save it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Tomb Raider 2. And please do join me for the next part, ladies and gents. I will hope to see you there. See you later. Right, let's go. Oh, I got to pause it now. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it.